on the day we have to have you to file a new project. Okay, and then we get a project about that. So then you have to import the clip that you want to use. So file, import file, and then you choose the shot that you want to change. So for us it was this shot, and this was our first point of view shot, and the problem was it was quite grainy due to lack of lighting. So what we do is we have to remove the grain. Um, and so you need to drag your movie into this little icon and then you get a composition and it comes up here. So then um, you need to search in the search bar which effect you want to put on. So ours is called remove grain and you literally just drag this onto the shot. And so here you get your little like, preview window and you can put that wherever you want. And we can also move the time of the shot. If we drag this thing <laughs> going very slowly um, yeah and that just goes to a different place so as you can see we could focus on the boy here so then um, what we found was best was to put it where there was a bit of the background and a bit of the foreground so you could tell what would be blurry what didn't look good what does look good so then over on the left hand side are all of your options so you can open them up and as you put an effect on them, so such as red noise reduction, that's obviously going to produce the red that you see. So if I drag that up, we see an effect like that. And if I drag that down, we see an effect like that. Um, so then you can do the same with green and blue. And then Fine-tuning, so crema suppression, that's quite self-explanatory, it suppresses the colour. Um, and then we have like texture, and like if you make it very textured, you get lots of little bits of grain. Um, but you can drag that down, and it gets quite blurry. And there are loads of different effects like this, so it's really good to just play around with it, was what we found. Um, you can just stumble across some effects that are really helpful. So on sharp, that gives you some very weird effect. Now obviously you wouldn't use this. So there's loads of effects. And then when you're done, so if you want a whole shot to look like this, you change um, this from preview to final output. And if I did that, that is what my shot would look like. And so then um, you go to composition and add to render queue. And then when you're ready, you hit render and after a while, it does take quite a long time, your shot will be ready and then you pop it back into Premiere Pro.